Hey everybody, Crazy Blind Jake here with another affordable weapon review. I'm legally blind and I love weapons, so let's jump into this. Today we have something that's a little bit more expensive, but still, if you budget, what I would consider in the affordable bracket, so $300, $250 or less. And today we have the Hanway War Sword. I picked this one up, pre-owned but not used, same thing with my Legacy Knight Sword. Night Riding Sword. I picked this one up for around $163 with shipping. So a pretty dang good deal seeing as they retail for starting out at $190 before shipping. The average price is probably somewhere around $230 or something like that. So if you budget yourself a very affordable sword that's very well made. It's 40 inches long made out of high carbon steel. I'm going to show what type of high carbon steel. Knowing Hanway, it's fairly good steel. Especially since it's meant to be a usable sword, seeing as this sword is peened. And it has a scent stopper pommel. Really nice leather wrap grip. I like the guard, even though I prefer a more curved guard. I do like the guard. It's very nice. And for me getting it pre-owned, and not used, it is still in very good shape. Fairly sharp. Not too bad at all. So even if you were to buy one brand new and spend a little bit more than what I spent, it'd be a very good investment if you're looking for a good hand and a half sword. I mean, I have no complaints about it. I do like the fact that, although some people don't like this, that it has a small ricasso, but I like that for finger control. If you're wearing gauntlets or gloves, and you had to place your finger like so for certain techniques, you're not going to cut your own finger off if you're not wearing gauntlets or good gloves. But anywho, that's just little random things. Anywho, but no, all in all, this is a very, very nice sword for the price. The scabbard's pretty nice. I don't really care for that style of stitching, per se, but that's just a nitpicky thing. But all in all, a very good sword for, like I said, on average, probably $230. Still in the affordable range if you budget a little bit. In the future, I'm hoping to get up some test cut videos of some of the other weapons I have in my private collection. Ones that, yes, I can order them in for people, but I might not necessarily have them in my store. So, look forward to that. I just have to set up a good cutting stand and all that good stuff and have the time because I can't really see my phone outside. I can't really see the screen on it outside well enough to film and be my own camera person. So, I'd either have to have someone come over and be my camera person or I, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But that's side the point. So, all in all, for this sword, the Hanway War Sword which you can find all the other specifications online. I, I have to give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I can't give it 5 out of 5 because there's a couple of little tiny nitpicky things about it that I don't care for, but still a very, very nice sword, especially for the money. I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. I will know more when I do actual physical testing, but just as an overall review, easily 4.5 out of 5 stars for this sword. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's just about right. Although I do prefer a shorter sword. This one is just, it feels really good in the hand. So you can't really complain. I mean, granted that's without doing actual test cutting, but just messing around with it a little bit. It feels nice. So again, the Hanway War Sword, 4.5 out of 5 stars all day. Like I said, you can probably get them on average for around 230 bucks, give or take. But still, like I said, budget a little bit, you want a good sword, and you like a hand and a half sword, get one of these. Definitely worth the investment. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a little bit rambly, because I do that. That's just part of my video style. I'm a little bit out there. But anywho, have a fantastic day. Please be safe. Even though we live in supposedly very safe times, comparably to the rest of history, people can also be a lot crazier today. So just be careful and try to stay out of the heat since it's August and it's brutally hot in Florida where I live. 
Have a good one.